So a lot of people from my community has been asking how my streaming quality is so good while playing Warzone. The answer is this, I use M1 Mac with Apple Silicon version of OBS, not the traditional Rosetta version of OBS. I'll show you how. I even tried a streaming with this thing. Uh, this has an i9 processor and 3080 GPU, but still the Mac outperforms this thing. Yeah, seriously, yeah. So now that we are about to set up a dual PC streaming setup, there is actually two things to be done. Things to be done on our M1 Mac and things to be done on our gaming PC. So let's first complete all the initial setups that needs to be done on our M1 Mac. There is a link in the description to download the three files required for M1 Mac. The latest Apple Silicon version of the OBS and the NDA tools and the OBS NDA plugin. Install it one by one. Now I'm not gonna waste your time by showing you how to install the DMG and PKG files. Just double click it and agree to everything, you're good to go. So that now we have installed Apple Silicon version of the OBS and the NDA plugin. Now the thing is the NDA plugin is not compatible with the Apple Silicon version. So we need to do a little few steps extra to make it compatible. So now we need to make sure if there is a particular file present inside NDA video monitor application. So open your finder, just click applications, scroll down, you will find NDA video monitor. Right click, show package contents, get inside contents and framework and you need to make sure if a lib NDA advanced dot dy lib is present. If it is not there, what you need to do, you need to reinstall this NDA tools installer again. After that, just simply copy the uh, command line from the description and paste it in your terminal. Search for terminal, paste it, press enter, type in your password and press enter. I am not going to do that because I have already done that, so I am going to terminate it. So once you have done that, again search for usr folder slash usr. Inside that, you will see a local folder and inside that there will be a lib and inside that this lib nda.4.dy lib file would have been generated. If this thing has generated, you have done everything successfully. If this is not generated, maybe the process again. So once you have done all that, open your OBS. And under tools menu, you will see NDA output settings. If you see this menu, then this means that you have done everything successfully and so that your NDA plugin is now compatible with the Apple Silicon version of the OBS. So now we have completed everything that we are supposed to do in our M1 Mac. Now let us jump onto our gaming PC. So now in our gaming PC, open any browser, type nda.tv. Don't worry, I'll leave the link in the description. Click NDA Tools, click Download, and download and install NDA Tools for Windows. After you have done that, search for NDA in your applications library. Select Screen Capture HX, nothing will pop up. Just check for background applications. If you see, the NDA will be running over there. Right click it. Now this is where we are going to set our um, video bandwidth and video frame rate and video resolution properties. For video bandwidth, for my settings, I'm using as high and H.264 as video codec and the video resolution is uh, 1440p because my monitor's resolution is 1440p and my video frame rate is going to be uh, 60 hertz. Uh, the thing is my monitor's uh, refresh rate is uh, 165 hertz but it is not that the case that I'm gonna um, stream and record in 165 hertz. So it's pretty much standard we're gonna record and stream in 60 hertz so I'm uh, selecting 60 hertz and for audio source choose whichever is your headset and that's it. That's what you're gonna do in your uh, um, gaming PC. Now let's jump right back to our uh, M1 Mac. So now onto your M1 Mac, open OBS and open settings. First make sure to connect your Twitch account or YouTube account with the OBS and then go for video. So here set your base canvas resolutions and output scale resolutions to 1440p or 1080p because from there for according to my settings from there I am transferring 1440p. So here I have set it to 1440p on both and uh, go for output. I am going to stream and record at the same time. So for my streaming, I'm using my M1 chip and for my recording, I'm going to use the Apple VT hardware encoder. And for streaming, so this is the best settings which you can possibly get on anywhere on the internet. So um, 
set this to rescale output as 1080p because i'm gonna stream on uh, 1080p and my bitrate is 8000 i am a twitch affiliate so i can use up to 8000 uh, bitrate but if you're not a twitch affiliate or something maybe uh, go for uh, 6000 uh, maybe even 7000 i think twitch allows for non-affiliates up to 7000 i guess so maybe uh, go for that and then as a cpu usage set it to very fast then let's say profile is none and tune is none and that's it this is the best possible settings that you can get for uh, streaming uh, fps game with you know uh, the the system has to encode and decode your lot of bushes and stuff without even uh, affecting the quality so this is the best thing which you can get and for recording i'm gonna record in uh, 1440p itself so i'm not uh, using the uh, the reskill output i'm setting the encoder as apple vt hardware encoder and the bitrate is 6000 uh, 60000 bitrate and profile is not and use b, frame, b frames and that's it so these are the best possible settings that you can get for in your obvious so i have been using this setup for like past couple of months and it has given me uh, super satisfaction so it, it is literally like watching a youtube video honestly like a youtube video 1080p but uh, I have tried streaming with the 12 gen CPUs. I even uh, tried uh, streaming with um, RTX GPUs, but nothing is as equal to M1 chips. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Either it is the M1 chip or the uh, Apple Silicon version of the OBS. I don't know what that is, but it is super good. Just give it a try. If you have any other questions, like, uh, I don't know, obviously you, you guys will uh, uh, have some doubts or something or even if you will uh, face some problems just drop the question in the comment and i'll make sure to uh, reply to each and every one of them i'm sorry i'm new to this youtube videos and all i'm i'm not very uh, much of a youtube guy or a video editor guy so i'm just trying to this so this is my first honest video that i have edited my, by myself so please uh, forgive me for all the uh, if there are any inconsistencies right um yeah have a good day bye hey and hey uh, so just uh, make sure if you have uh, reached up to this part, just please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Okay, that really helps me a lot. Bye.